Today I'm going to show you how I tie my sabiki rigs for bottom fishing. So first I got my three hooks. I am going to thread them on. One. Two. Three. So this line is still tight on the spool. It's about 20 pound mono. I keep it in a koozie so that the line just doesn't keep unraveling. Pro tip. So once I have the three hooks on, I'm gonna tie the lead. The way I tie it is from the end. I'm gonna fold it over and create a loop. And then I'm going to tie Serge's knot. Like that. And then I'm going to tie one more. Serge's knot through the same first loop that I made. And then cinch it down. Okay. It should look like this. Then, since I know where the my lead's gonna be, I'm gonna measure. I you just estimate how far you want your hooks, but roughly they're about six to eight inches apart. So if I want my hook to be right here, I'm going to create a loop. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a surgeon's knot. And then I'm going to do one more and I'm going to throw the hook right through the other puka. See that? And then I'm going to cinch it down. So I crease this leg, but what I notice is that the hook bounces around a lot. And that could be a problem when you're trying to hook a fish. So what I do is I do one more of those surgeon knots, but just instead of doing it twice, I do it one more time. And the knot, I keep it down so that it cinches on the hook. You see that? So now this hook with the line, it's not bouncing around, the line is securing it. So after you tie your first one, I'm gonna go down. Kinda where the hook where I want the hook to be again, you wanna give it a little bit extra. Because when you tie that leg, you're going to lose lines. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more extra. And then, same thing. Make the, uh, fold it in half to make the leg. And then do a surgeon knot once. And then the second one, you're going to go right through that first puka that you made, the first opening that you made, and you can cinch it down, okay, and the hook is dangling, so I'm going to do it one more time, it's just so I can hold the hook in place. Just like that. And then we'll do it one more time. For the last hook. So I know everyone has their own style in tying sabiki rigs. I found that this way works for me. I was able to catch a lot of fish using this setup and it's really fast to do. I can probably do one rig and maybe one three hook rig and maybe like five minutes. So I'm not spending a whole lot of time tying rigs all day. I tie just enough of what I need. And then I just try to replenish after that. Okay, so I got my last one. 
and I will secure it just like that. Then the last part is you're going to make another loop like you did for the lead, but you're going to make it for your swivel that connects to your pole. And you do the same way, you're going to fold it in half. You're going to make your first loop. And second loop. Okay. Your swivel can, your snap swivel can snap right onto this. Then you'll thread your, your lead right through this. So you can kind of see the three hooks dangling and that they're pretty <laughs> pretty evenly spaced they're not it's not perfect but I, I like the distance between the three i have these cutouts that i wrap them and i bag them so in some of my setups too i have it written down on the board what it what it is bottom fishing uh i write the how much pound test, how much hooks. So I wrap it and I throw it in a bag. Like I said, this, there's many there's many ways that people tie sabiki rigs. I do this way just because it's a little bit easier, faster for me. And it, it's, and it works. <laughs> All right guys, until next time, dive safe, tight lines, aloha.